Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Monopoly. Monopoly, the classic game of screwing over your family. As brought to you by Spirosoft, published by PopCap. Why is this on Steam? I guess this is the video that you have to watch in order to find out. Let's have a look at the options menu for Monopoly. You can change the color of your dice. I change it to rainbow because yes. What other reason could you possibly need? Because yes, confirmed. Game music, swing, smooth, lounge, all off. My favorite kind of genre is off. You can then change your display settings to really, really wonky resolutions that don't work on standard monitors. Do you hate 16 by nine resolution? Then boy, do I have the game for you because this has only got four by three and 16 by 10 resolutions up to 1680 by 1050. Why? I have no idea. Apparently Monopoly simply does not work at 16 by nine. Or maybe it's because it's an iOS port. Who knows? Stats. These are rubbish. Dice stats. Yeah, just to check they're not loaded. Yeah, really. <laughs> is that- that's it. That is all they give you on stats. I mean, for- come on. For $10, they could have- they should have, in fact, just given you this massive suite of analytics in order to check out what's going on. I want to know exactly how many times I've bought one particular property. I want to know how much money I lost in every property in the game. I want that kind of stuff on my Monopoly conversion. Mostly, it's because Monopoly has been on every computer since the dawn of frickin' time, and all of those were, versions were pretty damn competent. So if I'm expected to buy the same game for the umpteenth time, then I would expect something new. It's okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, it has something very new indeed. Do you like no online multiplayer? Yay! Yes, indeed. No online multiplayer of any description. As you can tell, this is a brand new and interesting feature that's very, very difficult to implement, which is why, of course, it's been in browser-based games for perhaps the past 15 years since browsers were browsers. That was like the first thing that anyone tried to do. Oh, great, cool, we've set up this new technology that allowed us to communicate over the internet. Can we play Monopoly over it? I'm pretty sure you do that on bulletin board systems. But no, the technology just isn't there yet. Slight of... Ha why is this here? Trick dice. It gives you the ability to cheat. Yeah, right. <laughs> Inbuilt cheats. That's wonderful. Well, at least they must have a lot of selections, right? No, they actually don't. They've got like eight possible selections there. I mean, come on. Some custom stuff there, something really interesting. They got the top hat, which is fine, I guess. I'm deal with that. Ah, fine. All right. Let's get some AI in here. Let's make it interesting. Difficulty level, as in how much will they cheat? Because this ba this game is essentially based entirely on luck, so difficulty level shouldn't really be all that relevant. Environments. You can be in a house. In a house on a coffee table where you have to uncomfortably bend over in order to move your pieces, which means three hours into the game, you will start to have severe back problems. This is the same thing, but you can't even put your legs under it, so it's even worse. Who the hell would buy that? An even lower table designed for cats and in space. In space sounds reasonable. Out of all of those things, in space is going to be the least damaging to my spine. So I'm going to go with in space. House rules. Probably at the start. Why would anyone play that? I mean, why would anyone play that variant? I, I guess maybe it balances it out, I suppose. All properties at the start. What the hell? I don't even know. H houses for a hotel. Always four. Always four. House hotel limits. Yes. Free parking. Free parking is always bank. Always the bank. Taxes only. All that too. Yeah, taxes only. Best for free parking. It's a luck-based game. You might as well throw another element of luck into it. It's hardly going to imbalance it. Starting cash. Pass goes salary. Land on goes salary. More luck. And auctions on or off. Auctions were always the most fun, and I can never get my family to actually play with auctions. Which really made the whole thing quite boring. All in all, the house rules, not exactly as extensive as I would have hoped for, let's just say. Let's play Monopoly! In space! You can play have a space age board. I mean, come on. No one plays with paper money in space. We're in space by now. Guys, we're in space. So one would assume that the chances are we've thrown the idea of paper money completely out of the window. Nice, right, starts with the double threes. Whee! Pointless animations to waste our time. What the hell? Hang on, hang on. You don't get a buy on first time round. What the hell is this nonsense? 
This is American, but like, hang on, let me check here. Seriously? They do buy on first time round as a default thing, and I can't disable it. Is that properties at start? I assume not. No, absolutely not. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. So, you, is this an American thing? Because I don't know about you, every time I've ever played Monopoly ever, you're not allowed to buy on the first time round because it gives the guy who goes first an advantage, which would make it super dumb. But don't worry, because Monopoly for PC, with its amazing lounge jazz music in the background, in space, allows you to buy though the first time round. Whee! Community te bloody chest. Oh, Christ. Oh, great. The, you know, this is just a reminder of my Monopoly exp- Oh, chance though! Can't even buy any sodding properties. At least I can buy the railroad. Pointless animations. Yes, of course, I will buy the railroad. There we go. This is, of course, the American board, so I don't recognize any of it. I think we can end our turn. Thank you very much. It's got all sorts of weird streets. It's like, where's Palm Al? Where's Old Kent Road? Where's Mayfair? Where's all this good stuff? Where is it? Couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. All I could see is a really terrible version of Monopoly. Uh, this is essentially a port of the iOS version. And all credit to them, they at least gave it mouse control. I, I wouldn't have necessarily expected that, considering some of the iOS ports have been playing over the past few months. They've been pretty bad. Yeah, da, da, da. We might want to turn animations off. That would be nice. Yes, buy everything. You know, Monopoly as a game is something that just fundamentally bothers me because it's a game that looks like it's got strategy, but in reality, the game is actually entirely based on luck and pain. Which is what I, I just absolutely despise games like that, really. I, I even, I used to love Talisman in a really big way. And even now, I think I'm actually going off Talisman because I'm just flat out sick of games that involve a ton of luck. And those games should never be played on a PC. You, I'll tell you what, they should never, ever, ever be played on a PC with. Single player. Why would you want to play a luck-based game against the AI? The only reason to play a luck-based game, the only reason, I'll have that, thank you very much, is because you can watch other people having horrible misfortune. That's that's the reason to do it. No other reason. And in fact, if you play against the AI, you're hardly going to say, ha ha ha, AI who has no feelings, truly, you were scuppered this day by a roll of the dice. No, you're not going to say that, because that would make you crazy. But Monopoly seems to forget that. Seems to forget that, oh, you know what? I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine with playing this luck-based game. Also, the fact that the dice number there is yellow, you actually can't see it because it's just the brightness of the game. Wow, that texture quality in the background is truly incredible. Not that that's really a big deal. Why? I just don't see why people would actually buy Monopoly on PC. Especially not with multiplayer. There's about a million and one versions of the bloody thing, and thank you for income tax, Obama! There's about a million one bloody variants of it, available online for free. And most of them are just flat out better than this. They have better rules. Got sodding whatever the hell that is immediately. That's supposed to be Mayfair. It doesn't even have the different boards or the different variants and all the other cool stuff with it. Like, you know what? I would probably buy a multiplayer enabled proper variant of this. Like, if it had everything with it, like Star Wars Monopoly and all the different kinds of Monopoly available in different regions. I could just spice it up with a few extra rules from the various variants that have appeared over the past 30 or so years, maybe even more than that. That would be, that would be good. That would be pretty cool. But that's not what the game offers. It offers a $10 Monopoly variant that is... It doesn't even play proper Monopoly. <laughs> Seriously, let me know in the comments below if you guys actually played buy on first time round, because I never did. Because mostly because that's dumb. As I pointed out earlier. This game was miserable for me as a child. We didn't really play it all that much, but when we did, I could guarantee that my dad would always win. As to how, I really don't know, because again, it's a luck-based game with very little strategy involved in it, but he seemed to win regardless. We never really got upset over it. It was just annoying because you like to brag. He's like me. You know, I've inherited many things from him, including my accent. But I very, very much inherited the tendency to brag and the tendency to never admit that I was wrong. 
Monopoly brought that out of all of us in spades. Now, I've got to say, what, I don't understand at all the reason to bring so many board games to PC and then neglect to add a, a fairly important feature. I, I would argue it's a pretty important feature. Incidentally, the computer's clearly cheating already. It's the trading amongst each other and doing all sorts of nonsense. It's, it's just ridiculous. They seriously traded for that whole thing. There's no way in a million years like a human player would allow someone to complete a set so early on. You want to know why? Or, I don't know, maybe because that everyone would lose to them as a direct result. Because those bloody things will have hotels on them by the time the day is out. Absolutely disastrous idea, but it's okay. The AI is actually helping each other in order to screw over the player. Maybe that's what it does on really hard difficulty. It probably is, you know. They gang up on you. They make horrible things happen. They could have really come up with some better music as well, you know? Why didn't they just... They should have just licensed the Transport Tycoon Deluxe music. You want to do this style of music, or alternatively, of course, the old Sim City soundtracks. They did that really, really well indeed. Oh, God. It's just disgustingly basic. I hate you so much. And who am I talking to here? Like, I could, I could be laughed at by my family or friends if I was playing this game with them. Even online, if I was sitting on voiceover IP. Ha ha ha, you fool! At least you could kind of do that in games like Blood Bowl, for instance, which were incredibly frustrating. Not that they were... Even then, you'd really have to be on voice chat to get the full appreciation of the amount of pain that Blood Bowl actually involves. Well, so much for that idea. But no, you, you don't get that here. All you do is yell at the screen. It's only because I'm doing a video for you that I am allowed to express my frustration in some kind of meaningful way. At least you guys know that I hate this game with a fiery passion, and you know why, because of all the screwing over and horrible things that are going on. Ugh. Bloody everything was going right for them. No, don't, don't give them that! Oh, God. Flick, hold, and flick. Flick! Yes, of course, flick. All of those things that I can do with my mouse. Uh, I'm surprised there's not more touchpad functionality in the bloody thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Monopoly. A horrible port, a horrible version, a horrible game in general. Why did you do that? You see? You see what happens when you give them those things? No human player would do that. Monopoly in itself just represents everything that's horribly wrong with board games. As someone that likes board games. You know, I really do. I, I love board games. I, Monopoly is one game that I simply cannot stand. There's a few games like that. It's just kind of ride around the board games. But I think I hate Monopoly the most. You want to know why I hate Monopoly the most? The reason I hate Monopoly the most is because there's this thin veil of strategy over it, which really doesn't extend all that far. But there's this notion that there's big Monopoly strategy involved. And in reality, that actually isn't because there's so much dependent on the roll of the dice you try and remove some of that by having stuff like, hey, let's not have buy on first time round because, you know, that would be goddamn stupid. But apparently, the guys behind this version actually forgot that. I'm consistently shocked by the garbage that ends up on Steam. And yet, the fact that they had to put in a system like Greenlight in order to get some really good games there. Apparently, you could just publish an iOS port of Monopoly onto Steam as long as you happen to be PopCap, and they're not going to have a problem with it. An iOS port with no multiplayer online whatsoever. And they're not going to have a problem with that. That seems completely reasonable, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Am I going to give you Pennsylvania Avenue? No, I'm not. Because if I give you Pennsylvania Avenue, you're going to completely destroy me. And what do I have? Not a huge amount. Indeed not. Absolutely not. You know the worst thing is here? Oh, can I... Can I actually change this around? What if you had a... Can you... No, I actually want your money. Give me the money. How does this bloody well work? Okay, so I, I could make that... Actually work. Uh, it's about 300 for that. Yeah. Seems absolutely reasonable. Can I actually ask him for some other... It would be really nice if I could ask him for some other property. Can I not? Oh, God, the trading system of this is terrible. How do you screw up Monopoly? How does that happen? Apparently, it's entirely possible, and we're seeing it right here. 
I want to. I want a different offer. I want some property from you. That would be nice, but nope, can't have it. Why? Who the hell knows? <laughs> Who the hell knows? Here is my counter offer. Dog has accepted. Wonderful. I have accepted trade with dog. And then handed over the greens to them because I'm past caring. I'm just hoping it screws over the AI more than it screws over me. Ladies and gentlemen, just don't. You know, every now and again, I know some of you think, Oh, you know it would be great if I could play Monopoly again. And then, thankfully, that quickly fades. And rightfully so. Keep Monopoly out of your mind. Monopoly is a terrible board game. Monopoly is an even worse PC game. And the AI cares not for your flippantry. It's not going to communicate with you. It's not going to brag. It's not going to laugh. It's not going to be your friend. Truly sad, is it not? What a joke. What a joke. I will see you next time.